Hey guys, it's number one. Back at ya. We are here to review Niagara Falls Grand Island KOA Campground. We made it to Niagara Falls, had an amazing time, and we're here to tell you about it. So what we consider when we're booking campgrounds, we have a 40-foot Class A motorhome. We flat to a Jeep. We have two kids, ages 13 and 8, and two English Bulldogs. What we look for in the campgrounds are full hookups, which for us, we look for 50 amps, water and sewer, Wi-Fi, firewood, propane, proximity to the local attractions, gr proximity to grocery and other shopping, making sure it's quiet and peaceful, and of course that it's fun for the kids. So we've been in Niagara for 10 days. Obviously the big attraction here is Niagara Falls and this location has been great to go see the falls. As we've driven around, which we like to do and kind of explore and we've taken note of other RV campgrounds that are around, I would definitely say if you're coming in an RV to visit the falls, this is gonna be one to stay at. So we're only about a 10 to 15 minute drive from Niagara Falls, we're actually on Grand Island. That is just a little small island that's connected uh, there's a bridge, I believe, on one side that you kind of go closer towards Buffalo and then the bridge that goes towards Niagara, but it's a really cool island. Hey, hey! While we were staying at the KOA here in Niagara Falls, we had so much to do. We had fishing, we had bike cart, there's a jump pad, there's a basketball goal here. That's two fishing ponds as well. The basketball goal is adjustable, so you can dunk if you want to. Our kids made friends with other friends, other kids here quickly and easily. We got the kids some new bikes. There's a go-kart place around the corner. There's an ice cream place around the corner. There's, I mean, you name it, it's here. I mean, what else, Jennifer, did I miss anything? Actually, the proximity to Buffalo as well. So oh, Niagara's right, the, the main up. attraction, but Buffalo is about 20 minutes maybe from here. Yep. So that's cool, we took a drive through Buffalo. There's another cool town that's kind of between here, Grand Island and Buffalo. It's called Tonawanda, I believe is how you say it. Adorable little town. Uh, so we did go visit Tonawanda and we had lunch on the patio at Mississippi Muds there and that was really good too. So I do have to say, someone told me that the food on this side of Niagara, meaning the US side, was not that great. And we thought otherwise. We've been eating a lot, oh my goodness. We tried a burger place called Rock's Burgers, I believe is That's what right. it was. That's and right. It was so good. It's like and 40 different burgers that were stuffed. And they do all these cool different things in the menu. And he said, they, we talked to the owner himself. He said they change it up all the time. Definitely go try it. But you can imagine why we felt so dang full. It was really good. We also tried Dee Dee's Dairy, which is a cool local ice cream spot. These are on the Niagara side. So going over the bridge towards Niagara. It was really great as well. And then our favorite oh, yeah. one. I got the banana split there. Yeah, yeah, mm. he's it. It's the banana split challenge. <laughs> right? No, I guy? always say I'm gonna get banana splits and I never do and I said, you know what? I'm doing it this time. Yeah. A couple pounds there too, see? <laughs> good food, good ice cream. Just put it, pack it on, pack it on. And our favorite food spot that we tried here locally is actually on Grand Island. You just take a right outside of the campground and it's right there and it's called Adrian, but they do beef on weck. We had never heard of weck and let me tell you, you've got to try amazing. it. And yeah, so good. yeah I, I think what that means for me is I can't eat Arby's anymore because this <laughs> stuff just dominated it. It was unbelievable. It puts Arby's roast beef to shame. So if you're ever in the area, beef on Weck is the way to go up here in Buffalo. It was awesome. So the one thing that I enjoyed the most about where we are, where we're staying is the proximity to everything. We're 10, 15 minutes from Niagara Falls. There's a Walmart, there's a gas station, there's fast food, there's local foods, there's a grocery store. They have propane here, the firewood's great. The store here at the KOA is probably one of the best that I've ever seen. It's got everything there. It's been a really great experience these last couple of days. Yeah, so the proximity to everything is really nice. The Walmart is across the bridges. Like there's one towards Buffalo and then there's one that I've been going to at Niagara. And the only thing to know about that is there is a toll for every time that you cross the bridge. Not a big deal, but it's an electronic toll. And so what we'll do is we'll end up getting a bill uh, from the state of New York for every time that we've gone back and forth. So just be aware of that. You have no options. Yeah. It, it is what it is. You're going to get the bill 30 days in the mail. So just pay it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Still totally worth it. And yeah. But no, this has been a great place. The staff has been great. We stayed in site A42. This is what they said in one of their best spots that they have. Not, not necessarily this specific site, but the type of site. 
So it's a large pull through, has a big concrete patio with some really nice furniture and a nice uh, built in fire pit. Yeah. And it's been wonderful. We didn't have to drag out any of our patio things at all. The space between the sites is wonderful. So that's nice as well. And we've been here at a time that's not quite their peak season. So it's been kind of sparse during the week, but on the weekends, it's already right. filling up yeah. a lot and it's still quiet at night. So that's another huge plus for us. But there's plenty of room between the sites where you're not inconveniencing your neighbors or in their campsite, so to speak. There's a good 10, 15 feet between each spot. It's amazing. All right, so overall, what is your star rating, JR? Well, Jennifer, because it's got so much amazing stuff to do around here. I like the rural stuff. I can't say that word. I'm gonna spell it for you. R-U-R-A-L, rural. I can't even say it, rural. <laughs> Royal, no. Royal. I like Royal. the Royal sites better like we did in Parsons, West Virginia. I just like to, you know, low key, small towns. I like that. But for Niagara Falls and it being here, five stars. You can't go wrong with that. Five stars. And the toe comes up. The toe waves in front of Hank for you. Sorry about that. But uh, five stars. There's nothing really to complain about. There's no issues. I mean, I could nitpick, but I mean, who's got time for that? We're here to have fun and, and make a life and have and enjoy it so five stars for me Sorry, five you know stars what? on that <laughs> wait so yeah i would also give this one five stars there's really no reason to give it anything else it's like we said checking off all the boxes and if we were to come back to niagara we would absolutely stay here again yeah. we probably won't because we already did the falls and we're going right. to keep going through the rest of the u.s but so. don't waste your time and don't look anywhere else too. this is the campsite to come to it's in a prime location where you can get to anywhere within 10, 15, 20 minutes. It's, it's ideal. They also have cabins here to rent too. So if you have family that's coming in town and you're like, hey, we don't have any room, guess what? They've got cabins just for you, as well as bathhouses. Huh. All right, that's our review. Niagara Falls, KOA, Grand Island. Ha, ha, ha. We're on to the next one. Thanks for checking us out. We'll let you know about the next spot. We'll give you a new review here shortly. Have a good one. Good to see you. Take care. Mm -hmm.